Let's remember. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Mm. Deceiving and being deceived. Hey, clock in England. You know, the big clock in England started out so friendly. Then trying to defend your uh, brother uh, Beelzebub of Blackpool. Then just recently, apparently... Um, I made a mistake because I responded to you, but after that, it's like I put you in the spam, you know, thing and blocked you. But, uh, oh boy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Up the dosage there, buddy. <laughs> Go back now to Psalm 21, picking up at verse 9. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger time of Jacob's trouble. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath and the fire shall devour them. Amen. All oh, you coadjutors working for the Vatican, you devils, you're going to burn, you're going to burn, you're going to burn. Yes. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth. Amen. This is your hour in the power of darkness. But your fruit, you devils, ain't going to last that long. Especially during the time of Jacob's trouble. <laughs> their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device, which they are not able to perform. Jeremiah chapter 7. Jeremiah chapter 7. Jeremiah chapter 7. Verses 11 on to verse 20. Is this house which is called by my name become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, saith the Lord. But go ye now unto my place which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it for the wickedness of my people Israel. And now, because ye have done all these works, saith the Lord, and I spake unto you, rising up early and speaking, but ye heard not, and I called you, but ye answered not. Therefore will I do unto this house, therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust. And unto the place which I gave to you and to your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh. See, they trusted in an actual building in the Old Testament, but not in the one who occupied the building. Does that sound familiar to today? These Christians, they trust that going to a building makes them right in God's eyes. Uh, the Catholic, because they worship flesh and eat a cookie. That's how they get Christ. An outer adornment to these people. Something that they can put on like a t-shirt, a pair of spectacles, or even a, a wedding garment. That's supposed to show that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will cast you out of my sight. As I have cast out all your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. When someone has made their choice and are knowingly, openly, actively serving Satan, made their choice, given themselves over to Satan. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. The only thing you can do is, if you're going to pray for them, Lord, may your judgment be upon them. And maybe in that judgment, maybe smack them out of it. But as I've seen with these coadjutors who work for the Vatican, You might as well be in hell already with the door shut. 
Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem? Do you not see? Have you eyes to see? The children gather wood, and the fire, fathers kindle the fire. Mm. The children gather wood. How many people do you know make idols of their children? You know, living vicariously through their children? See, I don't have kids. I can't have kids, okay? So I don't know what that's like, okay? But what I've seen, I've seen a lot of parents who turn their children into little idols. The children gather the wood and the fathers kindle the fire. Kindle the fire. And the women need their dough to make cakes to the Roman Catholic Mary, the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings onto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. And here's the whole thing. Do they provoke me to anger, said the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? There are some out there who truly believe what they're saying. And they're devils working for the Vatican. Others are just disputatious. Others agents sent to throw people off and whatnot. Do they provoke me to anger, saith the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? And God is not the author of confusion. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, mine anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man and upon beast, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall be burnt, and shall not be quenched. Just like similar to how it's going to be during the time of Jacob's trouble. Ezekiel chapter 8. And, I, and this very meat, very meat. Ezekiel chapter 8. Ezekiel chapter 8. And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house, in mine house, excuse me, and the elders of Judah sat before me, that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire, from the appearance of his loins even downward fire, and from his loins even upward, beg your pardon, as the appearance of brightness, as the color of amber. And he put forth the form of an hand, and took me by a lock of mine head. And the Spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven, and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looketh toward the north. Where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy? Hmm. The image of jealousy. What is that image? Hmm. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the plain. Then said he unto me, Son of man, lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north. So I lifted up mine eyes the way toward the north. And behold, and behold northward at the gate of the altar, this image of jealousy in the entry. He said furthermore unto me, Son of man, seest thou what they do? even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary. But turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. When you study God's word, when the spirit of truth lead you, guide you into all truth according to the scriptures, and you learn the truth of things through the scriptures, and you see all these abominations, wow! And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now through the wall. Digging through the wall, meaning hidden. So you have to dig to find the truth of certain things, okay? And when I had digged in the wall, behold, the door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. 
you know, secret societies doing things in secret. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel betrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel, the ancient old men, who ought to be teaching the younger generation. But as we have already saw, the children gather the wood and the fathers start the fires. Yeah. Children are their oppressors and women shall rule over them. Hello? Hello? 